This video gives a grand overview of chapter 7, which is about computability. In this chapter we learn about the boundaries of computation, in particular we discuss what cannot be computed. In the first video, we study a classic problem introduced by Alan Turing, the so-called halting problem. In the halting problem, our input is the source code of any computer program, and we want to know whether this computer program eventually terminates. We show that in general the halting problem is not solvable, even if we have unlimited time and resources. The halting problem is an example of Kurt Gödel's incompleteness theorem, which says that any advanced mathematical system must exhibit unsolvable problems. In the second video, we discuss a formal model for computation, the Turing machine. The Turing machine combines a finite automaton, the computer program, with an infinite tape, the memory. In principle, the Turing machine is computationally powerful, it can compute anything, that can be computed with the best available hardware and software. At the same time, the Turing machine is simple, and easy to completely understand. We say that a computer system is Turing complete, if the system is computationally as powerful as a Turing machine. In the video, we also discuss some other machine models, in particular the randomized Turing machine, and the RAM machine. There are many computational models which are Turing complete, and some of them are really surprising. In the third video, we show how a set of different bathroom tiles can be a computer. More precisely we show how these tiles can simulate a Turing machine, and are as such Turing complete. We also discuss other grid-based computation, in particular the game of life. In the final video, we discuss another Turing complete computation model which is based on dominoes. It is known as the post correspondence problem, or PCP for short. PCP is interesting because we can study several PCP variants. Some of these variants are powerful enough to include undecidable problems, others are NP complete, and others can be solved efficiently with a simple algorithm. So PCP nicely spans the whole spectrum of computation. Thanks for watching this video.